This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create this retro TV style intro title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. Now this animation is inspired from one of the Envato project by author Chernu. So all the credit goes to him and make sure to check out his work, link is in the description. So with that said, let's straight away jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. For width, I'm going to set this to 2560 and height, I'm going to set this to 1440. That is 2K. You can go with 1920 by 1080 if you want to or 4K as well. For frame rate, I'm going to set this to 30 FPS and duration is set to 10 seconds, which is fine. Press OK. Let's create another new composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo here. You can use any logo or any text you want to. I'm going to use a text. So let's select the text tool and I'm going to type in retro vibes. All right, let's align this into the center. For the font, I'll go with one of my favorite that is Dharma Gothic. Let's go with this one. And I'm going to align this into the center. Also, I'll add a tagline. For this, I can use Clash Grotesque. Medium should be fine, I think. Actually, let's go with a semi bold. Let's place this here. Now we can go ahead and animate our text. So let's first animate the retro wipe text. Let's select the text, go right here in the animate and add a tracking. Let's create a keyframe on the tracking amount and I'll drag that keyframe to around two seconds. Go back and let's increase this somewhere around here. Select the keyframe and press F9 to ease ease them or go into keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then go into the graph editor, right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph. Select this point and I'm going to drag this holding shift so we have a smooth movement like so. So that is looking quite nice. Let's also animate our second text. So I'll go to around one second. Select it. Press P to bring down the position and create a keyframe. Press T to bring down the opacity and create a keyframe here. Press U so we can see all the keyframes. Go back in time and I'll move this down a little like so and set the opacity to zero. Select the keyframes, press F9 or keyframe assistant. Easy ease, go into the graph and add the same curve by holding shift. Now we have something like this. Let's move this a little ahead in time around one second and 15 frames should be fine. So here we have our text ready. I often remember when I first tried learning things like this, it was overwhelming. Because back then resources were all over the place and I would spend hours searching for answers. Learning felt like solving a giant puzzle with missing pieces. But now things are different because of Skillshare and it's been a game changer for me. And guess what? They are also our today's sponsor. Recently, I came across a class on motion graphics expression by Jake Bartlett that completely transformed how I approach my animation in After Effects. For those who don't know, it's not just motion graphics. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. They have thousands of classes taught by industry experts covering everything from graphic designing, filmmaking, illustration to productivity and freelancing. Of course, Skillshare's learn by doing approach makes it very easy to pick up new skills. They are great for mastering any skill or software like After Effects or even storytelling. One of my favorite things about Skillshare is how accessible it is. You can learn at your own pace, stack lessons and immediately apply what you have learned. If you are into creative work, it's definitely worth checking out Skillshare. I have left a link in the description for you to try it out and see how it helps you. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial for Skillshare. Now I want to create a revealing animation and to do that, I'll create a new composition called this logo wipe underscore zero one. Press OK. Add the logo your composition. 
Then select this, go into effects and presets and search for linear wipe effect. Set the wipe angle to minus 90 and transition completion all the way up to 100. Create a keyframe on the transition completion and go to one second and I'll set this to 50. Then duplicate this, press Ctrl D, select the bottom one and set this to plus 90. So now we have an animation that looks like this. Pretty simple. Let's go back into our main project panel. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then go into logo wipe to select it. Press U so we can see the keyframe. We can hide this logo here for now. Select the top one. Change the wipe angle to plus 90. All right, then duplicate this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and set this wipe angle to minus 90 and change the transition completion to zero. Then let's zoom in into our timeline and select the layer, press U. Select the ski frames and let's go around five frames forward in time and move them right here. So now we have something which looks like this. So I'll delete this. Select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select the bottom one and then just switch the wipe angles. So I'll select this one, set this to minus 90 and this one to plus 90. So now we should have something like this. Let's select all the layers and press U so we can see the keyframes. Select those keyframes and press F9 or go into keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go into the graph editor and let's select these points and drag them holding shift like so. Same I'm going to do with logo wipe one. Select this, hit U and keyframe assistant. Easy ease, go into the graph and let's drag them to the left. Now let's go back into our main project panel and create a new composition called this animation. Drag the logo wipe one. So here we have it. Go into effects and presets and add a fast box blur on this. Let's set this to around 135 should be fine. I'll go to around let's say 1 second 15 frames. Press T to bring down the opacity. Create a keyframe and set this to 70. Go around 2 second and 15 frames and set this to 0. With the same exact animation. All right, let's duplicate this, press Ctrl D. We can delete the fast box blur from here. All right, bring up the opacity and get rid of the opacity keyframes. Let's set this to 100. So now we have something like this. I think the fade out is a bit too fast. So I can just position them like so. Okay, that is looking fine. Let's make some room right here. Then add the logo wipe to on the top and change the blend mode of this to add. So now we have something like this. Duplicate this, change the blend mode of this to lighten. Go into effects and presets and search for CC radial fast blur. Set the zoom to brightest and amount to all the way up to 100. So now we have something which looks like this. Pretty cool. We can duplicate this a couple of times. Let's change the color of this to something different so we can identify the layers. I'll create three more copies. So control D, control D, control D. And one more time, change the blend mode of this to add. So we have a really intense animation. And as you can see, we have a lot of color bending. So to fix this, there are two things that we need to do. First of all, switch to 16 BPC. So hold Alt and click on this button. That's going to switch to 16 BPC and that should fix most of the color bendings. But later on, we can also add some noise to fix it. So now let's assemble everything. So I'll go back into my main render composition and let's Press Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. I'll go with a black color. On top, I'll add the animation composition and change the blend mode of this to screen. 
Now we have to create that nice RGB split effect that is going to give us that retro feel. So I'll go into effects and presets and search for shift channels. Double click to apply that. Turn off the green and the blue channels. So now we only have the red channel. Duplicate this, press Ctrl D. Turn off the red channel and turn on the green channel. Duplicate this one more time. Turn off the red and green and turn on the blue channel and then i'm and then i'm going to displace them by just one frame like so so that is going to give us this nice rgb kind of a split effect which looks pretty cool as you can see pretty nice now to intensify the overall look, you can add deep glow if you have the plugin and in case if you don't, you can use the regular glow. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and type in glow, go into effects and presets, search for glow effect. Let's drag and drop it and increase the radius like so and we can play around a little with the threshold. Okay. So now we have this really intense look. Now let's keyframe the glow. So I'll go right over here, create a keyframe on the glow intensity. First of all, let's bring that down a little to around 0.3. Create a keyframe, go forward in time right here. I'm going to bring that down to zero. So we have this really nice look. I want the glow to end right here so we can go back into our animation. Select it, press U and let's bring that down like so. Yep, that is looking nice and we also have that nice RGB split onto our subtitle. Pretty cool. And finally, I will add a new adjustment layer and call this noise. Place it on the top. Go to effects and presets and search for noise effect. Drag and drop it, uncheck these two properties and set this to three percent. And that would add some noise into our scene, which will help us get rid of the color bendings. As you can see now, you may still see a little bit of color bendings due to the YouTube compression. But when you do this, when you try this animation, you can see the difference. And basically, that's how you create this retro style title animation inside of After Effects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I have a complete playlist on how you can create some amazing advanced title animations inside of After Effects. Make sure to check them out and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.